Hey, how's it going troops? Welcome to Scarecorp. This is part two of my snow tech series. Uh, I'm trying to repair my snow tech because I busted something off. Uh, if you missed the first video, check it out uh, somewhere over here. And uh, then come see this one right after. So this one is uh, the removal. Trying to get to uh, the spot uh, to actually figure out what the heck I broke. So uh, let's take a look. So I got my tools. I got my heater going because it's about minus 24, 25 today. Still pretty cold. <clears throat> So, uh, I broke this piece off here, off my uh, snow tech. Uh, it's the fuel fuel shutoff um, valve. So I'm going to take this cover off here. Hopefully it's not too many bolts. I see a couple on this side, a couple on that side. I might have to take this guy off. And uh, hopefully I don't have to take too, too much off to get to it. So I don't even know just yet what it's uh, gonna all be like but I got some tools here and I got more uh, more in my uh, garage here so should be able to find out what uh, what it is so probably what I'll do is um, I will uh, pause this video and uh, try to um, Try to open this guy up and see if I can get to the part. Well, I'm back. Uh, it's only been a couple of minutes, uh, five or so. I'm freezing, but I think I got to the part. Just for a show you, if you don't believe me, it's uh, inside the garage, minus 10, minus 11. So with this thing, it's uh, getting a little better. But uh, anyways, all right, I uh, I got to the part. So to take the starter, um, whatever this piece is, the part of the starter, yeah, you take uh, number two Phillips. There's two screws here. This pops off quite easy, nice, and you just put it to the side. Then you're dealing with one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six, six screws there. Um, they're number tens, so find yourself a wrench, number ten. Um, and then uh, you can pop this guy right off. So there's four here, and oh, uh, and two here. All right. And then once this, then this pops off, you get to the problem part. So, I was a little bit mistaken. Again, that's why I didn't really want to speculate too much. Um, but there's the part that is broken. So, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like you should be able to... Uh, it's just a shot-off valve. Um, <clears throat> you have your uh, cable coming in here. Um, probably to the... I don't know, I'm going to say carburetor again because I don't know. And then uh, this part up here goes to the fuel tank. So you're basically just shutting off the uh, fuel supply into the carburetor. So, uh, doesn't look like it's uh, too bad. It's one piece here. I might be able to get something. Um, I guess because it does come with you know, uh, this is kind of where it sits. I'm going to show you that a little better here. So kind of where it sits. <clears throat> I don't know, I might be able to find this part. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to go uh, uh, search for it online. So this is kind of what, uh, what, what it looked like. So this looks like, um, this plastic part looks like it might slip off of this thing. So... Uh, if I can just buy this piece here, um, <coughs> then I should be able to uh, pop this plastic piece back on. And I don't know, maybe it's all in one, maybe for 20 bucks or something I can get it. Hopefully not too much more. But that's uh, kind of what I've been dealing with. 
So uh, let me pop uh, this guy off here, and uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I was able to successfully uh, pull this guy out. Uh, I used uh, nine sixteenths uh, wrench, just open end, and I pull the guy out. So it comes with uh, this little. I don't know, filter. Uh, let's see if you can see that. So anyway, it comes with this little filter. Uh, it's kind of gross uh, crap on it. Um, looks like it's a little bit dirty in there, so I'm going to clean that out before I put it back in. So 9 sixteenths uh, for uh, this piece here. And then I just use some... Uh, some needle nose. There they are. So I just had some curved ones. I was able to uh, get underneath there and pinch it and slide that uh, guy off. So I'm gonna go and see if I can uh, source this part. Um, it looks like uh, it comes with the filter and everything, so it might be a little bit more than I uh, imagine but uh, hopefully it's not they're not gonna gouge me too much so uh, there's that piece uh, this thing's dripping a little bit so I'm gonna see if I can um, plug it up a little bit with something I try to drain as much as I could from the uh, gas tank but uh, there's still maybe a little bit uh, in there so well, I think uh, that'll be it uh, for today. Um, I'm gonna see, gonna leave everything as is. Uh, I might plug that hole up so I don't get no dust, dust and crap in there. So uh, usually, what works good in those is if you got some golf tees, those little uh, two-inch or four-inch guys, just jam them right in there. Um, works awesome. So. Okay, um, I will uh, update you as soon as I know something. If I can source the part out, um, I'll let you know uh, how that how I made out. And if you uh, have any comments or questions, uh, or maybe even know uh, what part I need or where I can find it, um, you know, uh, place uh, place a link down below or give me a drop me a hint. That would be great. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, um, the rest of the series, please hit the subscribe button. Um, then you'll uh, get uh, the videos as soon as they come out. Okay, I'm freezing my ass off here, so I'm going to go inside and uh, see what I can find for this guy. And I believe that is it for my time. I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.